I'm ZK, and welcome to the Mortal Gates of Pyrocast. Hey, we're going to be doing a 2v2 on the map Fool's Bay in the alpha of this build. So, the top we have was Topoli playing as Blue in the, uh, as Aru, and the Immortal is Zal. Zalai will be Magical playing as Ajari, one of the Kurafa Immortals. At the bottom, we have Santa Claus playing as Orzub, another Kurafa Immortal. And on the left side, we have good old Cru Christian Crusader playing as Mala of the Aru. So far, there are two factions in this game. We have the Aru faction, who are, uh, well, blood tree creatures, sylvan blood creatures that just want to kill a lot of stuff. On the other side, we have Croft, where angelic demon, uh, angelic creatures and their human subservants. And yeah, those are the two base factions. This one, this one, the Croft faction is mostly made up of very strong, powerful units, so there's not going to be as many on the field. Uh, while these are more made of their creatures, so there's going to be a lot of ranged units. For those that played StarCraft, this this one is more analogous to uh, te to Terran, uh, Terran grounds. There's Marine, Marauder, Siege tank analogs, and then you go into here and you have Mutilisks and Brood Lords and some more fun goodness there with some very powerful spellcasters. On the Craft side. It's more like Brood War Protoss, so very strong, tanky units such as Zealots and Dragoons that can move around the map. We have uh, the Zephyrs, the Stalker Analog that has a lot more HP, uh, more damage as well, with uh, also the Blink ability called Windstep in this game. The other, so yeah, this is basically the two factions so far that we have in the game. At launch, we will have five, uh, but just two for now, and each faction is also differentiated by having different immortals. So what Immortals mean is they'll change two of the base units of the faction. So every unit has maybe 12 to 14 units. And the Immortals will change two of those for either elite or different type of units. So for example, for Aro, here is the Bone Stalker. Bone Stalkers have a spear and can turn invisible. While the base unit of, uh, of Aru is the Mass Hunter, which you can see being built here, uh, that are very similar to Marines. So units that can <laughs> lose HP to use their offering, similar to the Stimpak, to move a bit faster and get a, a bit of a damage boost in their first attacks. So just a small review. Uh, the game, like StarCraft, has two main resources. We have Alloy and Aether. So Alloy, the base resource that makes all your units, and then the tech resource, Aether, uh, which comes from the second type of, uh, the second type of uh, resource collection. Uh, and then, of course, there is a third resource, as we can see here, the red one. This one is called Pyro, which the game is named, named for. You get about one per three seconds. On top of that, you can get it by doing objectives on the map. So these pyro camps that you can kill, and then you either get a pyro miner, which will give you one extra pyro every 10 seconds. Or there's also objectives on the map where you can get them like this, will give you 25 pyro. Uh, the pyro abilities can, the pyro is used to cast abilities from their immortal. So overall abilities, uh, we might be able to see one here. I uh, know it's going to be a quick fight, so you want to keep the Power Miner alive, and as it also attacks, the Christian Crusader does not want to lose his units for nothing. This one is very low, and oof, one shot away from dying, but may very well survive in here. The shields come back on at that point. Westa won't be able to get the kill. Who getting a tower here from Santa? Very pesky, but he seems like he'll be about to be get caught by Magical here. As units come in and try to do their best. And yeah, Santa doesn't want to fight this. He's going to run away as fast as he can. can. Again, we see the differentiation. These are both the base units, similar to Zealots, but the Separi are Spearmen. While uh, Santa Claus has the Zentari. Zentari are strong, powerful swordsmen that get a range attack when they're in the Hallowed Ground. Hallowed Ground is this blue zone around the main buildings of the Croft Empire. We'll see them all over the place. Also, units that can cost it. Ooh, and we have a small attack coming in. Not sure if Good Old Crusader really wants to do that. There's a tower to help defense, and the towers have a lot of HP, although they don't do the biggest amount of damage. They're decent enough, and ooh, cutting himself into a corner, we see the ally also jumping in. Magical wants to help his ally, and Westo, as long as he doesn't lose too many workers, will be fine here, as he's going to kill a lot of his opponent's army, and we see them go down so quickly here. Good Old Crusader is looking for more damage any way he can. The other side, Magical. Putting on proxies on the other side of the map, that's interesting play. We'll have to see how they deal with this with all these proxies coming in as fast as possible. Westo and Magical will need to deal with this in any way they can. Uh, pesky play from Santa. And yeah, we'll just simply go back to getting some power on the map. Some other big aspects of more are these defensive towers. You can kill these. And place the towers will have a lot of HP and also allow your units to regenerate their HP. 
It's always useful to have this as the game goes on. And here are the Zephyrs, the Blink Boys, or Wind Step, as we call it in this game, and the Separe, the Zealot Analog. Uh, just roaming the map, trying to figure stuff out, but Magical really wants that Pyre up and running. He still has 109, so it's quite a decent amount, but you can never have too much Pyrus. You have strong, powerful, immortal abilities like, that are unique to yourself, as well as the basic ones like building a tower or infusing a sort of uh, stim pack type of power that increases your speed, range, and attack speed. Oof! And here comes the infuse. You see this units attack so much faster, but Crusader does a counter infuse and will just destroy his opponent's army. And Westopoly will not be happy about this one. Of course, he's building more units in the backseat of it and will be going for very powerful. Uh, these units can transform into Ack looks, so. Basically reverse units that can shoot from very very far and are also invisible uh, With a big range splash damage on this side though Santa being really annoying has his proxy set up here and Destroying his opponent's uh, opponent's base killing all of his uh, all of his ether collectors Same time coming in and killing so many buildings has to be careful with the bastion of course uh, defensive tower and then separating it just a bit to help defend against all of this match go might want to send back his two at the same time. You know, keeping map control is always a good option. Sentinels coming in to help defend it. And these units are so powerful, you don't really want to deal with them. So yeah, smart play from Westopoly, getting that static defense up. Uh, but is it too little too late? On the other side, it's a good old Crusader, finding an entrance, finding a way to do some counter damage as this base is up and running, but for how long? As these mass hunters are coming in, there's nothing to defend them. At least on the other side, Magical figures out that this is where the proxies were. And killing these are so, is so powerful given that in this game the production buildings double a supply. So losing this means that Mag that Santa Claus can't build any more units from this. Salshin healing up the units, but of course the damage has pretty much been done. Four Sentinels coming in, Magical microing back a weakened one. And oh, he really wants the final shot, but doesn't get it. And these, oh man, these Scepters have nothing to defend them. And that's a huge loss for Santa Claus. If he can get the base, it might be worth it. It's going to be so close. It's getting down so much. One more last shot, and there we go. Has it been worth it losing all the production structure plus all the Sentinels to kill his opponent's base? Eh, we'll have to see as Magico might... Oh, keeps it alive just barely here. Ah, I won't keep it long, alive for long. Magico is down to only one base, and that's a pretty dangerous take. Of course, Santa losing all his production. Going to his third base now to keep... Try and stay ahead of his opponent's uh, economy. And Teapot sees this base going up. Magical needs to take it back up. Of course, behind all this, Crusader got complete map control. Has control of the map and can make fire all over the place. We see in these 2v2 2v in this 2v2 matchup, often comes down to 2v1s. Who can build two armies that can attack together? Uh, Santa's army was a bit destroyed, and here comes Sentinels detecting this base. Santa will want to take this tower and get a defensive position here that can also serve as a reinforcement point to heal up his units. Uh, Santa will see this and might decide to counterattack. Uh, Santa has enough power for this and Santa has so... Magical has so much power. Of course, these zone control units... Ooh, the Infuse comes in before they can set up and the Zephyr is going for the very powerful Absolvers of Absolvers. Once they get sieged up, you don't want to attack into this, or does he? That's a very powerful hit, and yeah, they just shoot like machine guns, and the machine guns say, no, you cannot pass. Magical turns back, heads back to his base, and looks at, looks for as much as he can as Absolvers slowly move forward as Santa wants to keep this base alive. His ally Crusader coming in as well. Magical will not be able to get more damage here. Retreats before he loses too many units. A good 2v1 here. On the other side, the Westopoly saw that coming and going for a counterattack of his own. Looks at this base. There's none here. Crusader sees it. Pings on the map. And Crusader getting ready for the defense. Does Westopoly see the base going up on the corner? Probably not, but it's worth checking. Will he check? And indeed he does. He finds the map. The base here. Crusader is still in time to cancel it at the very least. Yeah, cancel it immediately. That is, there's no way that is going up. Orange team. Taking the third base here, so Crusader on three bases. Santa also taking his third base. On the other side, Westo uh, slowly just expanding as he can. Magical has taken back his base here, and that's going to be very helpful. As the Zephyrs use, this, use it to win step up. Unfortunately, Magical's army was way too close, and these Zephyrs are forfeit. Losing a few units for killing a bit of the economy of Magical, which was already pretty low. Is it worth it for that many expensive units? It's hard to say. Of course, we can look at the map here. Magical has been pretty much lowering his opponents. The army value here 
uh, 3600 army value, a bit more saying than sometimes just the supply. Supply, of course, a good indicator, but army value really says who is more powerful. But the fight is going on, an ultimate ability comes down from for Santa Claus, really wants to win this fight as Ice is forced to retreat on this. Far willing to keep pushing a bit further as they go. Magical, oh man. Sopley lost his expensive units. Here comes a 2v2. As both armies come together, Santa Claus seems to have a lot. The Mark Prey comes down. Another immortal ability. Uh, but Santa Claus gets sieged up, gets in position. At this point, Magical, there's not much he can do as Fire is ready to keep pushing forward and forward. Push. Keeps on coming. Infuse comes down for West Opley. He wants to defend this place. He doesn't want to lose this position. But, but Santa Claus army is coming strong and coming fiercely as... As Magical comes in to help defend, but there's so many units here. Can Ice defend this? Fire pushing forward the tower, giving a lot of HP. They want to take it down. It's going down slowly but surely, and very little left left here. As Fire keep pushing up into Ice's base, and Ice moving back as far as they can. Mustafli with almost nothing left, only 800 supply. Rain of Blood comes out for Crusader to for another ultimate at Rain of Blood, giving all his units much more HP. And a push keeps coming with Stopley with almost nothing. He's trying to reproduce what he can, but it might be too little. Magical running back to his base and microing his heart out. The warden coming in as well. But the shenanigans with Santa Claus seems to have seems to have bear, bear fruit as he was able to kill Magical's base and keep him just long enough behind for him and his ally to really get maximum potential. It's still ongoing from all corners of the map. They find a nice position here, but at the same time, the north. Santa is keeps on pushing forward, but a bastion is here on this magical and Westopoli are forced to GG out.